What's up, my love buns and love muffins? It's Mama Love, and I am here with my girls. It's your girl Tina and the cat. And it's your girl Ige. And what we're going to be talking about is just basically how I feel and how they feel about their relationship so that we could get a clear understanding because earlier some comments was made that uh, I bashed Tina or I embarrassed her or, or um, I'm just making her feel uncomfortable and everybody's like poor Tina and all this type of stuff. So Tina can give y'all her version of me and how I deal with it. So Tina go for it and then I want Ajunay to tell y'all and I want y'all to be honest mm -hmm. on how I treat y'all, how I make y'all feel, and I just want y'all to keep it real. And so, so when basically when I had first came out or whatever, I really thought like my mom was real, really gone. I don't know. I felt like I was gonna get a whooping <laughs> or she no dog on what she's doing. <laughs> Or like, I don't know, I just, I was just scared. But when she found out, like, she really didn't even trip for real. Like, as I thought she would, she was just like, oh, I knew it. And that was it. That was it from there. And I'm kind of, like, I don't want to say, like, I'm kind of grateful, but I am. Because, like, some people, like, some people's parents ain't really okay with them being that way like they really don't accept them and my mom accept me and i'm grateful and i appreciate that so it ain't really no you know she she embarrasses me she makes me feel type of any type of way because she don't she love me still the same it don't you know so really don't so, but you know i always tell you the truth yeah i always I always tell the truth. I never just go on and badger her and be like, you know, yeah. I'll be walking around here like, you going to hell? Look at that. Touch it. Going to hell. I'm <laughs> yeah. doing that. You know, she really don't. Like, I, I don't do that. I just tell my kids what, what I'm supposed to, what's right, and what the Bible requires. But I never, ever sit and judge them. When, when I tell Tina about, you know, her and her relationship, where I say, well, hey, I don't, I don't support it, but I love you so much, and I, but I ain't gonna support it because it's like. I'm citing. I gotta get the scripture, but it's talking about unnatural affections. Mm -hmm. I want to say this, and um, but I don't want to quote it, so I'm not gonna do it. But at the same time, you know, I love her, and I love Ajane. Ajane is like a daughter to me. I got called Ajane my daughter. Ajane is here with us now. And you never take and push somebody away because of their lifestyle. You could say that I didn't love Tina if I pushed her away and you know pushed her friend away because of their lifestyle. But instead I embraced them because that's not what the love of God is. The love of God is, you know, the Bible says, well, love and kindness have I drawn thee. So he draws us with love. He's not going to push us away because of this, uh, our sin. God loves the people, y'all. He don't, God hates sin. God does not hate people. It's the sin that God dislikes. And that's what he's not going to tolerate. And that's going to be the very thing that not get us in heaven. So I'm always going to love uh, regardless. So I'm going to love her in. She love her just like she my daughter. She'll tell you for herself. I want to love her in to love her in the church. I don't want to run her away and judge them, and that's not what I'm doing. And y'all taking the wrong impression of that. Y'all got that wrong. Y'all, y'all took what I said. I was actually praying over my kids and what I want and how I want them to be saved because I know the Lord is coming back, and that's what that was. That wasn't. Oh, you called her business out. How am I calling her business out? She got a channel with her. She's open. She just came out and told y'all. She got a video when she said, you know, um. I like girls. Y'all came out. I like girls or whatever. And done several videos. Y'all been on Instagram with Tina and I. Y'all know. So how am I blasting her? I'm just trying to get things cleared up the way y'all say things. It got me twisted like I'm this crazy religious lady. And I'm not. I'm not religious at all. I'm just telling you this though. I, I, serve a, I serve a God who is strong and mighty. And I'm not going to say I'm into religion. I'm into God. I'm going to touch bases on a part when she was pretty much saying y'all was just taking her praying over us and just hoping that one day we'll understand what we're doing is wrong and we can change and maybe 
move past the the wrong part of the relationship like it just be close friends or something you know like we could still be close without having to do something ungodly like you know that that's all she'd be really trying to say but she she i wouldn't you know we understand that she don't obviously agree and support our relationship of course you know because she know that it's not something we should be doing and it's not gonna get us into the heaven gates and all of that stuff and with her being her daughter obviously she would want to tell her daughter what she's supposed to do to live right like that's any typical mother if they love their child and stuff but at the end of the day she don't just sit around her i don't want y'all looking at it like me and tina just so in her face with it and she's so disgusted by it she like she yeah, pretty much said we she don't, don't even do stuff yeah like we that don't we're not, we not disrespectful around, around her yeah. first off and especially knowing how she feel about the situation we really picky with things that we do around her and on our social medias and etc things like that so it doesn't, you know, because we know how she feel about it. But she doesn't walk around and just look at us like, ew, oh my God, like, Tina, we'll all of that and stuff. You feel me? She, she, she loves me as I love her just as much as she loves me as if this is really my own mother. And she takes me in as if I'm her, own, yeah. her own daughter. You know, like she, right. she encourages us to know the word and go to church and everything. She encourages us to pray, no matter what our lifestyle may be. She, she, she teaches us that God still is going to love us and accept us for who we is. And she want to see that light at the end of the summer that we. Might might just wake up and realize and change and get ourselves together so we can be saved and so we can make it to the gate. She don't want to go and we stay behind. That's all it really is. You or know, it could be just... vice versa. I could end up being left and y'all could be gone. I mean, hey, because it's not just this sin. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of sins. I'm not just pointing out the fact that, you know, they're, they're together and that's a sin. We're going by everyday life and stuff, yeah. you know. Um, I could get mad during the day and I can hold a grudge against somebody. That's that's a sin. That's the yeah. same sin as what... You know, they may be doing or Terrell can cuss. Ain't That's no the same thing. Bigger or than us. Other one, yeah. yeah, or smoke or, or whatever. You know, I'm not around here calling out sins like I'm one of the mothers. Like, are you going to hell? Look at you, cigarette going to waste. Get it right? You know, it's not. You know, I, but I do let my kids know so that they don't. Yeah. If, if if something goes and they don't make it, it, it will be at the end. Like, why didn't you tell me, Mama? Why didn't you tell me the truth? Because there's yeah. gonna be a lot of people like that. That they're gonna be like, you didn't. Why didn't you tell me how the guy saved? And, out of this, why don't you tell me? And I don't want nobody's blood on my hands because the Bible says that also. The blood is going to be required of you on your, I and mean, the blood is going to be on your hands. And I don't want, I don't want that to be happen. So I'm not going to tell them something, y'all, that I have not had happen in my life. Mm -hmm. And I told y'all uh, a while back in a video, I was there at a young age. I went there. I had, a, I was in a relationship with a girl, and I had went there, and um, I was in a relationship, that relationship for a long time. And in the midst of what I was doing, um, I had the Holy Ghost, and um, I had been, you know, into church or whatever. And what happened was I had got out to church because I kept, like, going back and forth, and I didn't want to play with it. So I was like, forget it. I'm just going to stay out to church and stuff because if I'm gonna, I ain't going to keep doing what I'm doing and repenting and running back to God and getting back in church and running back, just playing with it. Just get out. Just get out. But in the midst of it, though, see, people don't understand them. They can't fancy They put God in the box. God is a merciful God. You can call on God in the midst of your sin, uh, what you're doing, and ask God to help you. Do you know that God will help you and not judge you? Yeah. Do you know that God won't, he won't make you feel bad about it? That's why he said come boldly, boldly to the throne of grace. You talking about bold? We coming with some sins now. I mean, I be, I, I may, I have went to the Lord and told the Lord before back in the day, um, Lord, you gotta help me with the situation. Um, I, I, I'm a married woman, and uh, this was a married man. I didn't touch him; it was a secret crush. And I had my eyes on him, and I went to the Lord, and I told the Lord, you know, help me, Lord, because I'm a married woman, and I'm less than a married man, and I want this man. And if this, if this ever came across, and if I could get my hands in him some way, man, I would be with this man. So I need you to help me in my situation. That's what I'm talking about, being bold for Christ. I mean, just being coming to him boldly. He 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 knows our our heart already. Yeah. And, and what it is, it's, it's gonna be the honesty, the truth. The Bible says the truth shall make you free. And when you come to God with the truth, he sees that. He already knows what's in your heart. You can't sit and hide it and say, Well, I, I ain't gonna say that. I'm not. you can't walk around like this all day. Because God see you. You can't go in a room and do what you do and come, get under the covers. He can't see it. God, God see us. He sees it, so ain't no, ain't no other way to come to God but honest. And I always tell my kids that. And Tina, honest, Tina will tell you. I ain't tell, stop telling Tina she's going to go to hell. Tina will tell you that. You know, if she ain't ready, she'll be like, I don't know, my butt's hell wide open. Because, you know, because that's, the, that's what's being taught 
that's that's the word of God. I'm not going to go back on the word of God. I don't care what y'all call me and what y'all say. I'm going to stand on the word of God and what that Bible say. Y'all can sit here and say it's written by a white man all y'all want. I know uh, it, it's, it's a Jewish God. It was, the Bible is written by inspiring men of God. And um, I know what God has done for me in my life. He has shown himself strong to me and that he is real. And I know that word of God is real. And um, we all going to see that in the end. It's all going to, it's going it, it don't matter what, white, if he white, black, they, a white man wrote the book. Y'all y'all say all kinds of things, but in the end, it's like though that book was written by inspiring men of God. And I don't care what color, even though he's a Jewish guy. I don't care what color he is. He died for me. He died for us. He died for you. And he rose again. He rose on the third day. And that's the reason why every time y'all, at last one of y'all, y'all can maybe talk about him and say what y'all got to say about him. But I bet you one thing, the first time y'all get in trouble, you think you're about to die. That first name come out your mouth going to be Jesus. That's, go, that's the truth. So, yeah. I mean, for y'all to get quiet, but I'm just saying, you know, no, we just talk amongst like we're talking to each other. But I just wanted y'all to, to see that. It's not no, it's not like that. Because if I didn't take Ajene and like for my daughter, whatever, if I had a problem where I'm pointing fingers and all of that type of stuff, you can love somebody and not accept what they do. That's how God, God does it every day. God does that every day. He loves us, but he don't like what we do. Let me tell you something. I love my kids. I don't, I don't like what they do, but that don't mean I don't love them. You know, I don't, I don't sometimes I, I don't like to, I'm going to use Terrell, for example. I don't like when Terrell back talks sometimes, but I love my son, you know. I don't like a lot of decisions that my kids have made, but I love my kids. So that's the same way with, you know, this situation like, oh, you don't love Tina. That's a bold because Tina looking for acceptance from you. I accept my daughter. I love my daughter. I accept her friend. I love her. I love her friend. That's my daughter. Ajane is my daughter. I love my both of them. I love both of them and I love them both the same way. And I'm not going to sit and judge them. And that's not judging when you tell somebody right from wrong. When you yeah. tell your kids right from wrong, that's not judging your kids. That's letting your kids know, yeah. this not right, baby. This not. This is not right. Oh, that's right. That's that's wrong. You tell them that when they coming up. Like put that put that. You don't take the keys and stick them inside the uh, socket. That that's that's wrong. You you'll get shot. You know you warn your kids because you love your kids. The Bible says God chases us. That he loves those, who, he chases those who he loves. And if some of y'all don't understand the terms of Bible scripture, chasing, he, those who he loves, he chases them. You know, he, he um, instructs them. He corrects them when they're wrong. He loves his, whoever he loves, he chases. So it's like that when we come to our kids, we love our kids, we chase them. I didn't love Tina, I wouldn't tell Tina the right way. I didn't love Terrell, Queen, I wouldn't tell them the right way. I'll keep it to themselves and I'll let them walk down the road of destruction. And when they fall, just, <laughs> I don't want my kids to turn around and be like, why didn't you tell me? All right? Why didn't you tell me danger was down the road? I don't, I didn't know I was going to let you bump your own head. Yeah. You know, you, that's love. That's love. They're going to do what they want to do regardless. I'm not trying to make no decisions for them and live their life. I realize they're going to make their mistakes just like I did. But I do have to do my job as a parent to tell them whether they're going to do it or not. And that's the way I feel about it. You know, anybody want to iterate? Well, she pretty much said it all and I said my part. We hope y'all can understand a little more, and you can, because y'all took a lot, all types of. Wrong yeah, y'all took it the wrong way. Maybe y'all will understand. Maybe y'all should understand. understand. Mm -hmm. And try and put yourself in. If you not, if you is a mom, you should try and understand that. Put yourself in that situation, or if you're not a mom, try and put yourself in her shoes. It's just a typical mother, knowing right from wrong, try to pass that on to her daughter, right from wrong. That's it. It's not like she bashed us. She yeah. disgusted by us. She and I don't feel any it, type of. Way, she accepted, you know, she said me, she still love us. Like, if we wasn't doing this, you know, so yeah, and that's the real. All right, well, if you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up, comment, comment down, down below, and subscribe. And subscribe. Hey, okay. and peace out in okay. Jesus' name, and amen.